Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I'll show you how to make your own light up unicorn headband. To make your headband, you will need the printable template, a link for that is available in the description of this video, clear tape, a paper clip, a 2032 coin cell battery, an LED, copper tape, although you can also use strips of aluminum foil, scissors, and whatever materials you would like to use to decorate your headband, like markers or stickers. Start by cutting out the pieces of your headband along the lines. Once you've cut them out, align the three pieces like this. We have the middle piece with the cone and the two side pieces with the ears. Attach them together with pieces of clear tape. Now what we're going to do eventually once you've attached those pieces is roll this part up to form the horn and wrap this part around and connect it in the back to make it a headband. But don't do that yet because first we're going to add copper tape and make a circuit so you can add an LED. Before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the battery and the LED and making a circuit. The battery has two sides, the positive side with a plus sign and the back or negative side which does not have any writing on it. And the LED also has two sides, although they're not labeled. The longer of the two legs is the positive side, and the shorter of the two legs is the negative side. So in order to make a circuit, we need to connect positive to positive and negative to negative. You can do that by sliding the two legs of the LED over the battery like this, and the LED will light up. You see, if I do that backwards, the LED does not light up. LEDs only let electricity flow through them in one direction, so it's important to connect the LED the right way or it won't light up. Now, if you don't want to bother with the copper tape at all, the simplest way to do this is to just take some tape, tape the legs of the LED directly to the battery, and then you can tape the battery to the back of the horn like this, and you'll have a light up LED on your horn. But what we are going to do is a slightly fancier approach where we're going to take the copper tape and we are going to build a path for a circuit that goes from the tip of the cone around the headband and then wraps around to the back of the headband so you can attach the battery in the back with a paper clip. So the way we're going to do that is to take the copper tape and peel off the beginning of the paper backing on the back of the tape and we're going to attach the copper tape just off to one side very close to the top of the cone with a little bit of the tape dangling over the edge. We're going to flip that over and wrap this tape around the back because we're going to use that to hide the legs of the LED on the back of the cone here. Then we're going to apply the copper tape down the horn and then we're going to bend it to make a turn and start going around the back of the headband. Now here's where you can have fun with this. You don't have to do straight lines if you want. For example, if you want to do a zigzag pattern or swirls or something, as part of the decoration for your headband, that is fine. So I'm going to add a little zigzag pattern here as I'm continuing to peel off that paper backing and press down the tape. And then I'm going to run this piece all the way to the edge of the headband. And this piece I'm also going to wrap around the back of the headband for a few inches and that's going to make it easier to connect our battery. We'll show that in a little, in a little bit. Then you take your scissors and snip off the copper tape there. I'm now going to repeat the same thing on this side, but this piece I am not going to wrap around the back. I'm going to end it at the end of the piece of paper right there. So here we go. I've added that second piece of copper tape, and just remember that this one does not wrap around the back. It ends just before the end of the paper right there. And if I flip this over, it is important to have both pieces wrap around to the back of the cone, but not be touching. If these are touching, it will create a short circuit and your LED will not light up. So you need to make sure you have a gap between those two pieces, but they need to be pretty close together because the legs of the LED are not that long and we're going to need to connect one leg of the LED to each piece of tape here. What you can do to make those connections is bend the legs of the LED apart slightly if you need to, take a tiny piece of copper tape and use it to tape the leg of the LED down to the copper strips that you laid down earlier. So use two pieces of tape, one for each strip, one for each leg of the LED. Make sure it's on there nice and firm so you have a good electrical connection, but again, make sure the two opposite pieces of tape are not touching each other or that will create a short circuit, and then that will hold your LED in place. 
So here is where we will now want to test our circuit and make sure our LED lights up. So remember when we did this earlier, one of these strips of copper wraps around to the back, the other does not. So we're going to want to bend this around so the strip that's facing the inside can touch this strip, but we're not going to let those touch. We're going to put the battery in between them. So I'm going to drop the battery in there, squeeze together so that one strip of copper is touching the negative side of the battery, one strip is touching the positive side, and if it doesn't light up right away, don't worry, that just means you have your battery backwards. So take your battery out, flip your battery around, squeeze it in there, and your LED should light up. So what you can do now is adjust this so it fits on your head. You have these tabs that slide together, so you can use them to adjust the headband so it fits on your head by locking the tabs together like that. And then you will have this space where you can put the battery in and secure that with a paper clip so the battery does not fall out when you're wearing the headband. So again, use the tabs to adjust so it fits on your head. Put the battery in, make sure the battery is facing the right direction for the LED to light up. So there, are no LED lighting up, I have that backwards. I'm gonna flip it around and my LED lights up. Slide a paper clip over the battery so it stays in place. And there you go, you have your light up unicorn headband. Of course, if you would like to decorate your headband, that might be a little bit easier to do while it's flat. So you can always just slide out the paper clip, remove the battery, slide the tabs apart, and lay your headband flat again to decorate. For more paper circuit projects and thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.